The other important thing Fabrizio Romano revealed last night, it was about the thoughts of the board members of Real Madrid in regards to Endrick. I mean, as you can imagine, Endrick right now is trying to evolve and de evolve and develop his skills and abilities as a soccer player within Palmeiras. I mean, as you can imagine, he was pulled out of the second team of Palmeiras and he joined the first team and right now he's playing at the top level in Brazil. As you can imagine, of course, it's pretty obvious the guy, I mean, the guy, the player is not going to, um, is not going to um, outstand everybody, to uh, amaze everybody just because he's just a kid. I mean, he's a 16 year old guy who is playing in the top level of Brazil. And of course, we get a bit patience. And that is basically what his coach, his current coach right now, said the other day. He has to evolve. He has to improve. He has to keep practicing. He cannot. I mean, nobody can really demand to this player like 10 goals per season, which is awesome because not many people within the football industry are that reasonable and that you know or has that common sense right when it comes to the young players when it comes to the youngsters man we're all the time thinking these guys really have to crush it since the very beginning and that's not true it is simple it is simply just an imagination of us that they can come up to the first team and succeed since the very first day. That's not going to happen, and that's not going to happen either to Hendrik. Although he's a great player, we got to be patient with him, right? So within the board members in Real Madrid, they really think they have signed a really good player who can become one of the greatest players in the world because he has the physicality, he has the, the tactics, he has the, the, the football, he has everything to become and su succeed, right? So do not push him, do not be impatient with him, and you will see the results very soon.